Welcome to the EC 110 for 2013 exam 2 review. I will not be talking to you guys. I will only be talking to the camera. The camera loves me. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Very cool. Um, I was joking. Uh, it doesn't matter. The camera can still do it. So what are we what are we gonna do? Uh, which are, which problems are we gonna do? First of all, how many of you have the packet with you? Okay. And most of you have at least some pen and paper with you. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do first. If you guys uh, want to do this, I'm gonna tell you which problems are pretty irrelevant. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, awesome. That is awesome. All right. So problems through eight, uh, nine, ten. That's all relevant. Eleven, page eleven. Uh, oh yeah, page eleven is the first problem. Completely irrelevant. Okay. So don't get scared. Page 11, irrelevant, not for this exam. Okay, not relevant for this exam. So page 11, don't worry about doing it now, okay? 10C, let's see. All right, so uh, page, page 10, uh, C. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually that's very good. That's also irrelevant. 10C is, 10C is irrelevant. Okay, right now. We've only gone, gone through gates and the video. Page, at the bottom of page nine. Uh, at the bottom of page nine, that is fair game. Although it is, I would say this is more complex than we've gone to CMOS, but it's certainly good practice, okay? So it's good practice for the exam. Uh, Professor V gave it, uh, gave it five out of five. Uh, relevance. I would maybe downgrade it to four or five, but still, um, still worth a go. All right. Let Let's go through it. Can I go through it? Absolutely. Um, you know. But let's uh, Let's continue with this uh, relevance business. Oh. All right. Uh, I guess problem seven uh, was deemed. Uh, page fourteen was deemed relevant. Sorry, not problem seven. Page uh, Page fifteen still relevant. Uh, page 16 is all relevant, and 17 is all relevant. Uh, that will doesn't mean that there will be problems exactly like it, but you you can uh, you can work on these problems and develop your understanding. Okay, 18 is relevant. 19. Um, I cannot agree that 19 is very relevant, although it's doable. So let's let's have, let's say midway. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just the truth. Test, so I can fill it out. So, yeah, so 19 is like midway. It's a bit it's a bit complex, but if you want to really test yourself on CMOS, you can do that. Okay, so midway, I would say. All right, uh, page 20, that's, uh, that's relevant, although uh, maybe one part of it is, uh, is a little bit on the tricky side, okay? If you, especially if you haven't had help All right, uh, or maybe you just need to grab that part. Okay, 21, uh, that's definitely relevant, or I would say four out of five on the relevant scale. Uh, problem, page 22, probably fairly irrelevant. It's a pretty much an ID problem, okay? 22 is irrelevant, Not you don't need to worry about that. Okay, 23, maybe it's kind of, uh, maybe it's kind of halfway, so I will go through that, we're on page 23. Page 24, uh, maybe also a little bit halfway. It's pretty good practice, but uh, maybe there are some issues, maybe a little bit more than halfway. All right, page 25, Definitely relevant. Uh, so is 26. Uh, 27, not very relevant. It's mostly a review of ID. So you can skip that. 27, skip 27. 28 is definitely relevant, although a confusing problem. But we'll, uh, uh, but it's, it's relevant conceptually. Uh, 29, uh, fairly relevant. I'd give it something like 4 out of 5. Somewhat different emphasis from the class, but the concepts we've talked about. All right, 
Uh, 30, not relevant at all on this exam. 31, very relevant. The top one looks like a circuit problem, but that is a step into, um, that is a step into the second part, into part B. So you can understand it that way. 32, definitely good problem and very relevant. 33, uh, pretty good, although half of it applies to the next exam. Okay, so like halfway, <coughs> halfway, all right? Uh, so maybe we'll, we'll skip it uh, for now, all right? 34 and 35 pages, 34 and 35 are both very relevant. Uh, page 36, irrelevant completely, next exam. Uh, Thirty-seven. The top part of thirty-seven is not really an exam two, but problem two on page thirty-seven. That can definitely be handled. Okay. So that's good in understanding basic logic in C module. Thirty-eight. Not relevant at all. Thirty-nine. Good and um, good example of BJT. Quite complex. And forty. Um, that is definitely relevant. Okay. All right, so what I see is a lot of BJT problems and a lot of diet problems and a fair number of like RMS and voltage type problems. Um, a little bit of motor problems, not too much generator problems, okay? So there are things that are on the exam that are not very well represented and the study guide is coming shortly, okay? So the study guide for that kind of stuff, it's not going to be too many problems, but it's going to be hitting the holes, okay? That's, that's, that's the role of the study guide. So for question 33, what parts are relevant? Uh, so page for page 33, um, it's a little bit relevant, so the CMOS part, but to write uh, uh, the way they want you to do the, the problem involves Boolean identities. But you can sort of go about it a different way. Does that make sense? You can go about it using the knowledge that we already have. Uh, so it's only partially relevant. All right. Uh, I'll collect those papers now and try to see what numbers appeared a lot. Um, who's got the papers?